15th August 1947. Thousands massacred across the length and breadth of this country. Chaos. But from that chaos arose a nation. Again, a nation with 5,000 years of history behind it. One of the greatest civilizations in the world. Subjugated for long under the British rule. But on 15th August 1947, Jawaharlal Nehru stood before the Constituent Assembly and proclaimed the Republic. Please welcome Jawaharlal Nehru. Long years ago, we made a tryst with destiny. And now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge, not wholly or in full measure, but very substantially. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. A moment comes, which comes but rarely in history, when we step out from the old to the new, when an age ends, and when the soul of a nation, long suppressed, finds utterance. It is fitting that at this solemn moment, we take the pledge of dedication to the service of India and her people and to the still larger cause of humanity. At the dawn of history, India started on her unending quest and trackless centuries are filled with her striving and the grandeur of her successes and her failures. Through good and ill fortune alike, she has never lost sight of that quest or forgotten the ideals which gave her strength. We end today a period of ill fortune and India discovers herself again. The achievement we celebrate today is but a step, an opening of opportunity to the greater triumphs and achievements that await us. Are we brave enough and wise enough to grasp this opportunity and accept the challenge of the future? Freedom and power bring responsibility. The responsibility rests upon this assembly, our sovereign body representing the sovereign people of India. Before the birth of freedom, we have endured all the pains of labor and our hearts are heavy with the memory of this sorrow. Some of those pains continue even now. Nevertheless, the past is over and it is the future that beckons to us now. That future is not one of ease or resting, but of incessant striving, so that we might fulfill the pledges we have so often taken and the one we shall take today. The service of India means the service of the millions who suffer. It means the ending of poverty and ignorance and disease and inequality of opportunity. The ambition of the greatest man of our generation has been to wipe every tear from every eye. This may be beyond us, but as long as there are tears and suffering, so long our walk shall not be over. And so we have to labor and to work and work hard to give reality to our dreams. Peace has been said to be indivisible. So is freedom. So is prosperity now. And so also is disaster in this one world that can no longer be split into isolated fragments. To the people of India whose representatives we are, we appeal you to join us with faith and confidence in this great adventure. 
This is no time for petty and destructive criticism. No time for ill will or blaming others. We have to build the noble mansion of free India, where all her children may dwell. I beg to move, sir, that it be resolved that after the last stroke of midnight, all the members of the Constituent Assembly of India present on this occasion do take the following pledge. At this solemn moment, when the people of India, through suffering and sacrifice, have secured freedom, I, a member of the Constituent Assembly of India, do dedicate myself in all humility to the service of India and her people to the end that this ancient land attain her rightful place in this world and make her full and willing contribution to the promotion of world peace and the welfare of mankind. Jai Hind! Ladies and gentlemen, Jawaharlal Nehru addressing the Constituent Assembly.